Hello! I'm with Mel and Billy. We're in Kennel, Louisiana, and this is their shed. Full of bees! <laughs> Abejas. Abejas. Muchos. <laughs> yeah. Mucho, mucho, eh? Yeah. So, um, we might have to open up two walls. They're on a corner today. We're gonna get the bees out. We're gonna set them up out here in our hide box. Maybe a couple of boxes. And uh, we're gonna bring them to a new home. I don't know about tonight. We might leave the box here. Remember we talked about that yeah. for day two? They're going in on the back corner right here. I'll show you what that, you know, what that looks like in just a second. We're gonna get all that honey out. We're gonna give some to the bees and we're gonna give some to, to Mel and Billy. Y'all like uh, Mel? All right, all right, that's okay. I hope y'all enjoy the video. We're gonna get started right now. All right, ready. All right, all right. Let me show y'all where the bees are entering the building. Okay. Well, we got them down here. And yeah, we might have two hives here. I, don't, I think we just have one. I'm hoping we just have one. <laughs> if we had two, we got two. But uh, see, they're entering here. And you can see they've been using the foam to try to keep them out. But uh, all right, well, we're going to get inside and try to get this started. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside of the building. Mel's going to be our tour guide today. Come, Mel. All right. So uh, this is the other side of the wall here. I got this one. Oh, you guys. That's some bees. Yeah, I know. Why don't you stand back over here until I open the wall and have an idea if they're nice, mean, whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah, I understand. I don't want to get you stung. I get stung all the time. I'm used to it. I don't want to get you stung. Unless you really want to get stung, though. No, no. <laughs> there might not be any bees over there, but we have to open it up. Oh, yeah. Because they're going in over here. Yep. Know? Let's see. There's nothing there. But you got sheet rack here? And sheet got, rack. That's what you got. You got brick on the other side of that, huh? Yeah. We're going to have to open that too. Yep. Alright. Let's open this other piece up. Been there a couple of years though. I guarantee you. Go call my daddy to see him. That's a beautiful thing, yeah. You should like bees. <laughs> we are biased. So let me I'm ready to get there and eat it, but not. I think this hive has been here three years, folks. That's my guess. I'm looking at the color of the comb and what they've done. I and mean, that's what it looks like. We got some really dark comb up here. So, yeah, I think two and a half, three years. Old oh, dark, dark honey. I'll tell you what, it tastes good too. Be for Mel right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, honey, there, Mel. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very good. What is? What is the, the, the white stuff in the bottom? This eggs? The bottom where? Right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's brood. That's where the queen lay the eggs and then they cap the cell and let the, the young bee develop in the cell. Oh. Yeah. More honey right here, Mel. 
Oh, they got B a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna get the bees off. Okay, so now we got this thing exposed. We can start vacuuming some bees. And, oh boy, it's a, kind of a mess. It's one big hodgepodge. They were doing what they could, I guess. They did a pretty good job of it. People ask me all the time, well, you know, these big old hives you're removing, all these bees and all that comb, uh, how do you find the queen? Well, uh, it's a process. You got a bunch of numbers. Um, if you have a bee back available, get your numbers down. Um, and then you start, you know, just picking at it. Okay, you, you, you're removing your brood comb sections, transferring your brood comb into your hive box. Your honeycomb, you separate it. You give some to the bees later on, you open feed away from your hives. And um, you can harvest some of that, give some to your customer, okay? And uh, it's kind of like cutting the grass, all right? So uh, a lot of grass, but, you know, you're vacuuming, you're getting your numbers down, getting them down, and you're, you're on something like this, and they're in a vertical void space. The hive is attached to the top, so we're going to go from the bottom, working up. We're, we're, we're moving our comb sections, getting our numbers down, and, uh, you know, dealing with our comb. Uh, yes, I'm looking for the queen. I'm not obsessing about it. Uh, if, I, if I find her, fine. If not, I know at some point I will likely find her. It could be when all the comb is out and there's just a little group of bees left, okay? So it's just a matter of being thorough and, uh, you know, keeping your eyes open, of course, taking your time and uh, just, just doing it, okay? So that's how I find the queen on a lot of these removals. So that's about it. We're going to get right back into it and get our numbers down. So far, the bees have been pretty... All right, folks, this is uh, what we have left right here, okay? See, I'm picking away at it. Uh, this is what's left, okay? So uh, we're going to go forward. Hopefully, uh, we get lucky and we, we get her. Real wavy, but... A lot of cat brood on it. Look at the trees back there. She might be on this piece. Let me go out and look. He's long and pointy. See? Look at that. There she is. 
always good to get the queen, folks. Whew! Alright. Yeah, she's long and pointy. And I'm glad to have her. Yes, indeed. Got down to the nitty gritty. See, look. We got one little piece of comb left. That's it. That's how it goes a lot of times, you know. You get her uh, late in the game. This is late in the game. Alright? Two. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. This shed is clean. Now, you want to ask me if I found the queen? Yeah. Go ahead, ask me. What's the queen? Ah! The queen. You know what's another great thing about finding the queen? This is the queen. You could finally answer, yes, I found the queen. <laughs> <laughs> is it la reina? Hello, let me, let me, yeah, let me shake the bead real quick while I see you can see. la reina. You want to see the queen, ma'am? Yes. You see the queen, eh? Huh? You see the queen? I just showed you the queen. You saw her, right? Why are you doing different? Why are you doing different? Right here. Can you see she's long? Ah, See? Right. See? That's the queen. I'm going to grab our catch box. Hold on. Okay, let me get here. Okay. A lot of bees. A lot of bees. See? Just show you. And this is an actual uh, deep. Okay? This is a hard body. And it has a pull out bottom. Okay? And what I'll do is I'll staple these two together right now and then I'll pull the slide out and I'll let the bees reunite now because this this building is made a little funny this brick exterior was added as a big gap between the brick and the interior sheetrock there's a bunch of bees huddled out on the outside and it's hot there's no cool down period for the bees to go into a, a cluster to try to keep warm when it gets hot they don't cooperate as much so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and I'm gonna put it down on that corner and I'm going to leave it here for maybe three months. Is that okay? Trace yes. Mesa? Yes. 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 About dos dias. Dos dias. Yeah. Two days. That's okay, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah so I'm going to leave it here about two days. That yeah, way, tomorrow the bees will be flying around. And slowly but surely, they're going to start orienting to our setup. Okay? And then I'll come back at night. And um, I'll put them in my truck. And I, I can smell... They're putting out pheromone right now. It smells so good. I wish y'all could smell this. Y'all want to smell it? <laughs> they put. A, they have a pheromone they put out. You know, it smells like uh, citrusy, like lemongrass oil. Yeah, and they do that to call in the other bees. See? Yeah, tell yeah. them. I mean, there's still a lot of bees on the outside there. Yeah, I. And, and because of the the brick and that 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 hollow there in there, there's bees in there. Yeah. I'm we got to give them a chance. To find that box, it'll, yeah. it'll take a couple of days, and then I'll come by and I'll take it out. Yeah. It's, it's going to work out, tell her. But we need a couple of days, all right? Okay, folks. They see we we got our meal right here. Everybody enjoying that meal? Is it good? Oh yeah, it's good, huh? All right. And look, right. and and Mel made a new friend, a drone right there, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. You named him yet? Yeah. Little Mel, Mini Mel. <laughs> okay. Very sweet, very sweet. Hmm. Very good. Got it all done. We're going to leave the hive here a couple of days. Father and son enjoying some fresh honey from their shed. I hope you all enjoyed it. Another one from JP to B Man. We're having a good day. Enjoying this nice, fresh, raw honey. Y'all take care and have a good one. And to the next one. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. <laughs>